Now then, don't you annoy me, and I won't annoy you. Right? Right. Right. Give us a beer, then. Give us a fag. I will not. Go on. I will not. You're too young to be cut, you fags. Pint of milk. Pint of milk what? Pint of milk, mister. Boom! Oh! That could be dangerous. You shouldn't do that, you know. Men's all around here. Ah. Uh, has the lad got a speech impediment? At all? No, he has not. Have you, Jamie? You what? I'm saying, do you like me having this job? Yeah, it's all right. What's your name? You know who I am. I'm Denise. I live across the road. Mum, is that hairdresser? Are you in? Can't be too careful these days. You could have been undercover. Mm. Do you know, he, he always seems to be eating whenever I look at Oh, it's this bubble gum. He blows it out in these big, horrible bubbles. Hey, show Reg how big you can blow a bubble. Go on. Uh, no, no, don't bother, lad. Get lost, Baldy! Come on, out the door! I'll leave her alone. I'll get me dad on you. He's a six foot karate black belt and he was in the SAS. Come here, you cheeky little... Don't worry. I'll sort him out for you. Oh, Jamie, lover, you're 11 years old. Well, I'll get my dad to give me a good going over. You won't mess with my dad. So what are you going to do about your tea? I'll have coffee. There's no coffee either. <laughs> You're reading other people's letters. I'm seeing who it's addressed to. You're reading it, nose disease. Are you ready? What are you doing? Having a shower. How's that? Mm, cool. Jack says I can have some crisps. Down there. We're having tea at Jack and Vera's tonight. In the pub? In the pub. Oh, cool. He could be an axe murderer. He's a painter and decorator. So he says you could have flaming bodies on the floor. Your witchy burns meals. Shut up. Toast chips. She even burnt spaghetti with well, once. Go sort your room out. Shouldn't he be at school? Day off while we move. Are you social services? No. She lives next door, and if you don't shut up, she'll clout you. What's your name? Mrs. Bishop. Is she Bishop? What's your name? Shadow. It's Jamie. I think I'll go and feed pigeons. No, no, you wait for me. But I don't know what to do. I'll wait till you finish my cup of tea, eh? Hiya, only me. Hey, you should have set off for school. That is a note. Tell them I've had to hospital. Hospital? Yeah, concussion. Chubby Crabtree were off of that for a week. He fell off his bike. School now. He's not a loony, Jamie. He is. He was reading your letter. When? Just this morning. I saw him do it. Jason's his best mate. He's not. He's a divvy. He bust me game boy. I hope he gets nuked. There's your housebreaker. Climbed in through the sash window. Jamie. So it is right, then. He does live there. Yes. Yes, he lives there. I'm sorry. It's all right, love. Uh, could he have me wages now? Um, wages? How, how much How much did we say? Uh, 3 50 3 50 Right. I'll, I'll, I'll just go and get it for you. Got you. Right. Off you go. Have a right. lovely time. Okay. Don't worry about anything here. Hey, when you get out on the open road, Put your foot down. You'll stick to 30. Out the way. Bishy, bishy, bishop. She's got an old man next door, and if you don't shut up, you'll get a clap from him and all. Mr. Baldwin, sir. <laughs> Did anybody see you coming in? Cos nobody will see you going out. You are. She's barmy. So I believe your mum's shacked up with those barns then. Drop dead. I'm sick to death. People shoving me around wanting me to get lost. Well, shut up, Mona. Go and feed me pigeons. I'm done them. Well, give them a second helping, then. Oh. That was me dad. You're not just going to lie there, are you? Are you going to get up and fight him? I'll lay me gun. <laughs> We're sorry for the trouble, aren't we, Jamie? Yeah, sorry. Oh, well. He's learned his lesson. Come on, Jamie. Can I stay with you, Jack? 